welcome to the video guys today we are playing Sojani in the jungle and since the new boss for the war monks I will try to build it as a secondary item and and try to see how this goes my build will consist of uh, they might be here by the way heart steel into war monks we will be kind of uh, stat checking the enemies I don't need to base here actually. And the problem is that uh, on our team we are for um for melee champions, for AD melee champions and the deal and they deal All right, he's here. Okay, he's kind of annoying. I will just ward this and start with this. Maybe they late invade me, but Ramos is trying to be uh, annoying in a way. Right, let's see. Seems we should expect them to invade bots. Usually, Wolf Start is not the best for Sejani, but that's okay. Alright. So Kha'Zix probably started bot lane mm, in his blue. That's why I'm trying to pack towards bot, just in case he tries to... Uh, he tries something fancy at level 3. But I doubt that's the case. So... Uh, the build is, I, I, I can speak about the build more now, and uh, the idea is simple, we get so much HP that the enemy doesn't have a chance to burst us down. Although they are brand and uh, actually the only people that can uh, deal percentage damage from the enemy team is brand. That's why he's the only problem that we can have against, the, uh, against our uh, huge pool of HP. And nonetheless, we will try to build uh, resistances on our third item with Jack Shu as a complete uh, build. Mm, and we will have a uh, 3 item power spike at that regard. And the reason why this works uh, with us is that we have on our W, let's ping him by the way, on our W we have scaling HP uh, as you can see here. 4% uh, bonus, uh, I think it should be bonus, no, it's di it's just directly, yeah, I deal more damage, uh, given the respect with my, uh, my HP, and since my bot lane just pushed all the way in, I will try to gank here, and this is a very weird bot lane by the way, and in here, I will just flash this. Nice one. It sucks I didn't get the first uh, kill assist, but at least I forced their hands so that they pushed the pushed for the play. So that's really nice. Now we know Kazix's top lane. Alright, nice damage. The bot lane is not moving as well. This is warded. Now, it's going pretty nice for us so far. So let's get the items we need. I mean, directly rush into the... Rush into the boots, but I won't do that. I won't. I will just... Um, uh, I will just have to do with the normal boots. And then go for the hard steel so that we get... We got to stack it more earlier. Alright, maybe I can knock the gank top. Since he is trying. Nice buy by to try and make, by the way. He is buying Tiamat. If I were him, I will try to catch the wave here. So. Yeah. That works perfectly. 
Alright. Let's try to kill him before he can get the wave. Very nice, very nice one. He didn't get the anyway. Yeah, that's how you should counter the Ramos players. It works so nice because, as you can see, our Trindimar bought the timeout item, which is so good at this matchup since lots of Ramos players will want to um, uh, proxy the wave. It kind of uh, enables him to actually uh, contest the proxy. In a way that he would clear faster, uh, wave, he would clear the wave faster, and that enables him. Kind of gives the enough time to. Oh, I was just speaking too much here, I guess. I can get this Ivy layer. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, I wish I paid more attention to him, but that's fine. Now I can look to. Gank pause one more time, and then after this we can get a... Maybe we can get a break. Right, after this I will go directly bot. Even though I should arguably stay here for these camps. Uh, which will give him 6, but on the way maybe I can take the schedule and hit 6. So... He's coming also. Talon is ganking. Yeah, okay. Okay, nice, we get this 6. Now I can gank mid. But he has cleanse. You that doesn't work, I believe. Okay. I'm a bit jobless here, maybe we can die, but yeah, that doesn't work. They probably warded this. I will try to contest it anyways. If they move, I can just retreat. I will save my smite. I don't see immediate need to smite for this. Okay, I'm coming here. I won't use my ult. Nice, very nice. Now we can look to take this. Arguably. They might be here. In fact, Brand is there, yeah. As I said. But they have Kazings, yeah. At least we got Flash. Maybe Slow comes from the Varus. Okay, we need to dive. It should be free Drake. Uh, we kind of sack our tempo for this trade, but I think it's worth. Because. My bot lane can... Okay, he's 6. I can stay at the Drake, because even though I want to... Join here... Okay, nice one. I, the Kha'Zix... The enemy Kha'Zix probably take my... Uh, all my cans at the top. Because he didn't show up here, but that's completely fine. I don't care about my camps at all, uh, as long as I need uh, I need um, CS per minute uh, combined with the these type of objectives, as you can see he might be yeah, he's level 6 still, so he didn't take a demo he was doing bot caps all the time we were fighting he didn't want to contest he's playing to scale, I guess that's a, that's a big blunder I mean, if he scales okay, arguably he might be strong, but since we have uh, double AD in the bot lane, I mean, uh, double marksman to be more precise in the bot lane, but that shouldn't, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I will not tolerate weakness. Talon is arguably, I should protect this, but yeah. Maybe I can wait for him, but this is worth it. But he's playing too aggressive. Alright, he used all of his stuff. I will just try to... Alright, maybe I can get a heal here. Yeah, what is he doing? Alright. I don't know. I guess he's tilted, I don't know. Maybe I can freeze this, but for better.
Can they break it? No. It's a bit sad, <laughs> but that's fine. We are pretty set up all, all. We have all the needs that we can win the. Uh, we can win the game. E even though at this point, if you are that much ahead in the game, the comp doesn't matter if you know how to execute your mm, champion spell. That's why I will go B and then open the bot lane turrets. So at this point, I will try uh, leave try mm, leave the leave my top laner B uh, and whatever they do. On their own. I'm not very interested at that, but uh, the reason being is that we have a very uh, aggressive or um, advantageous bot lane at this point that they can very overwhelm the enemy. Uh, that's why I will go bot, and our, ideally we should take the bot lane turret and then we can spread the map. But for now, this doesn't seem like it will work out. That's why I will, I will be closer to the bot lane while. Keeping an eye on them. Okay, I can directly go. This is troll by him. Right. A bit of mispathing by me. Nice, nice one, very well. Very well played. Now, this should be a free, but they get the... Okay, they didn't. That's perfect. I thought they get the wave, uh, because I couldn't see it through the minimap. But now, Warus gets two platings here. Okay, he wants to tempo. That's fine. I mean, he could have gotten the two plates and then based, and that will synchronize for the ocean soul I mean ocean drake I don't want to chase this they shouldn't do that but as I said Kiana's coming as well okay okay since I kind of stayed on the map I will take my raptors and then maybe look for plays one more time I mean, there is this argue about uh, would you ra rather take six corrupts or two drakes? And the question comes to whether you can implement your lead on the corrupts if your champions can very well hit the turrets. But arguably, uh, your mm, your main uh, point at this game is, should be uh, defined at the beginning of the match. What I mean by is that. When you look at our comp and the enemy comp, the enemy comp, to be honest, is very fiesta at this point. They have very interesting bot lane, they have poke mid lane, they have assassin in the jungle and a tank in the top. And it's all kind of... Uh, it's all everywhere, right? They don't have a common point where you, they can... Uh, I cannot tell for the enemy team their win condition, except they get ahead. That's why I would like to play for the Drake at uh, at this type of point of the game, in terms of compositions, they didn't see me. That's a bit risky since I don't see them. Okay, they flashed. Maybe Ash could have ulted it. I kind of counted on it. I was looking for the Ash ultimate, and I saw it where it was very close, and but she didn't. I I think it just came up a bit. Uh, a bit blonde on my part, but yeah. Yeah, as I said, going for the more mocks. Yeah, as I was saying, I don't mind giving six grabs uh, at at this time uh, at this situation of the game because they do not have any uh, champions that can hit the turret really. None of them actually does mm, does uh, deal any considerable uh, considerable damage to the turret but that might be one uh, aspect as well since you kind of increase your damage on the turrets you should get it i understand but uh it won't be at the end of the world if they get those uh get those uh white grubs 
instead I will try to win the game through Drakes. And we have uh, we have um, Cloud Soul at this game, which is huge for us, since the enemy team also wants to. Uh, the enemy team is so reliant on movement speed, and if we can, meaning that we can definitely deny their damage sources with our movement speed. And when you look at the brand uh, Zarat, uh, Kiana, and even Kazix, uh, when you think about like that, uh, you can deny. Uh, Enemy, uh, enemy resources or de damage sources through your movement speed, and yes. that's why uh, every time you hear that movement speed is the best stat in the game. That's why I know that. Maybe I can go here. Ah, I don't have a oracle, but maybe now. Very well played by Try. I, I think it was self explanatory. Alright. Alright, Swamps is on our base. The does not Maybe I shouldn't not be doing this. Yeah, I should defend the tier 2, but as I said, he's not, he cannot get this. He's going bot instead. Even with the. Even with the, I don't know how many grabs they took, but it's four, I guess, right? Even with four grabs, they couldn't take the turrets. Yeah. This fight, uh, Cloud Drake is an easy win at this point. Uh, theoretically, of course. But uh, in normal scenario, it's very nice to get at least one uh, grab because it gives gives you both stack and both stack and the mm, and the extra XP. Deeds, not words. No All right, he's trying to go for the wave, but I don't think that works. Nice. We got the extra gold. Now that's why mm, I mean. I want to build a Warmog secondary at this game because it was buffed. It gives you now 100 health. That's huge. That's very huge. And not uh, the champions uh, who has the burst kit, like Kiana or Zerat, cannot ever kill you. If the enemy team doesn't have consistent damage, even though despite the lack of uh, resistances you have, you are not dying. Trust me. Uh, and that's why it's it's also very good. Even though you got kind of beaten down uh, in terms of the damage you get in these fights, it's totally okay to uh, just uh, step a few, uh, uh, just take a few steps back, and then you can regen your health thanks to the warmox. I think he would look for the dive. Right, it's nice that he's going for base here. I can, I can protect the bot turret here. But they are going mids. There, there's four mid and they should live. Okay, this one of them is here. Does this one shot? I'm trying to consider it. I will try it. We would figure out. It has, it has gold. That is, I mean, it has health, 2.4k, and it does 2k. All right. I can look for this. That's totally okay. Yeah, I knew he would be here. As you can see, he didn't. He uh, he bursted the full combo on me, and I didn't even get any damage. Thanks to my passive, of course, but you get the main point, and that's why it's so oppressive. You can even try to build this as a uh, like. Of, uh, build uh, it as a first, I uh, first item. Maybe I can look at this. At least he can, he can take his cleanse. Oh my god, that was very interesting. As you can see, I'm not dying, even though Brand deals insane amount of percentage damage to me. 
Wow, balance champion. We should leave. We should be contented. We should content with the tier 2 here. Okay. Hopefully I don't die. Alright, at least we kind of baited them. Nice one. Even though we were both low, if I leave him there... Oh, he's dealing insane damage! Okay, leave me alone, Ramos. That's the funny part. Oh my god. We are losing too much gold here. I mean, we are giving too much gold to them. To be more precise. Now I have 4k health. And, yeah. Come, Kiana. Try to kill me. It's not happening. And I deal considerable damage with my W as well. My W deals... Uh, I don't know how much. Around 600, right? Combined with those. And... And I'm a tank, and I have no aggression items. That's why it's, it works uh, with Sejrani. But you can definitely, if you are playing with your friends, or you trust your team, uh, and you know them by the solo queue, you can definitely go for the support to build, since also uh, Knight's Wall actually got buffed as well. And that's totally fine to do as well. And maybe you can do, what you can do is that, you kill your boy uh, Knight's Wall first item and then go for the Warmox. Anyway, be chunky. Uh, and at the same time, protect your teammates. Alright, nice. I will loot this. Alright, that's GG's. That's the idea. Even though they get a... Uh, even going game, we would definitely win this game. So... That's the build, try it. definitely feel free to try it, and that's the gameplay to be more uh, comprehensive at this point, and that works pretty well. I've uh, tried it uh, like five or six games with my other account, and it's it's it really feels nice, especially in the solo queue environment. So definitely give it a shot, and that's the video, guys. I hope you like the video, and let me know your ideas in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.